Well, hey there. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Bacon Copter. Hello, Don. What? Don? What is that emote? I think it's great. <laughs> What's up, Satellite Sun? I love that little guy. He's so cute. Hi, everybody. Happy uh, Wednesday. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. Just fine, in fact. Lovely, you might say. Um. Yeah, what's going on? It was one of those days where it just kind of worked. Just, I just kind of did work. And stuff. I met some more of my neighbors. That was cool. Uh, it's So far, it seems like everyone around me is like really neat. Really, really friendly folk. Abs nerdities emotes are pretty fun. Oh, that one's super cute. <laughs> I like those. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get animated emotes up in here. Just, <laughs> just populating normal emotes feels like such a, such a stretch for me sometimes. So, um, yeah, man, I was I was just busy today, doing stuff, running errands and things. I'm getting I'm getting this room a little bit more in order. Like now. Now all my physical Nintendo powers are on the shelf over there, so that's good. Um, I got almost all my books in the bookshelf. I got some stuff here. Here's the thing. Um, I think it's this one. Hang on. I got some stuff. This is what I've been thinking about. I finally, yeah, I finally unearthed these. So, when I was, oh, what's up, Manic? So one box of crap I've unboxed from when I moved to this place almost two years ago. Yeah, that's, that's inevitable. That, that happens to everybody. So, when I was a kid, or at least when I, when I was in like high school, I saved all the game boxes that I had. Not, not the old Nintendo Super Nintendo boxes, those, those were long gone, but I actually saved my old PC game boxes and I had two big bags of them. And unfortunately, uh, when I was in uh, college, while I was away at college, my parents were, were cleaning up the house, they were trying to declutter, and they asked me what to do with those game boxes, I said you can toss them. And I've always kind of hated that I did that. but. But, on the bright side, on the bright side, I do still have some stuff. I did save some things. Um, I got rid of all my old PlayStation game cases, but I saved all the inserts from them. So, like, Double May Cry, um, Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Hello, Peach. Good to see you. <laughs> Drakken the Ancient's Gate. Do y'all... Do y'all even remember this game? Do you remember this game existing? This one tricked me. Because there's apparently... There's actually, like, two Draken games. There's probably more than two Draken games. But I played the demo for the PC one. And the PC one was badass. It was super, super fun. It was like it was like this open-world, dragon-flying, ass-kicking sim. The Curse of Darkness. Really sweet. I've always, I've always really liked this one. Um, but yeah, the PC version of Draken was, like, super cool. And so when I saw it on PlayStation 2 for like five bucks, I was like, oh shit, I should just get it on PlayStation 2 since I missed it on PC. Different game. Totally different game. No, nowhere near as good, unfortunately, so. The box for Katamari. So yeah, I have, I have a bunch of these, and not just these, I have some other stuff in here. What's up, Silver Mike, not a roguelike. RD Smokey pulled all the inserts from my PSX, DC, PS2, Xbox games, just dumped them in a box. Yeah, I've got I've got a, a big fancy looking envelope here of them. I have some other stuff. Oh, 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 that's what this is. I was wondering what else was in here. Yeah, unfortunately, I only did it with my PS2 games. And I'm not like I, I do I do enjoy PS2, but it's not like it's it's not like my system or anything. But I do have... Yeah. I do have all my posters for my physical uh, Nintendo powers. 
This also has uh, Mission Impossible maps on the other side, so. And I only removed a few of them. This one I'm not even sure I removed on purpose. I think this one might have just fallen out. <laughs> I should have I, I should have the Mega Man 3 one around here somewhere. That one I had up on my wall when I was a kid. What the hell is this? Oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, wow. This is kind of surprising. Alright, so here's a poster. For, a, for an NES platform where we played one night called Codename Viper. But on the other side... Look at that. Phalanx featuring the old man with banjo for no goddamn reason. <laughs> that, one, that one's a classic. I wish I had that game just for the cover. Still have the boxes of the games you mentioned? Nice. Yeah, I wish... Well, I really wish I had saved... If I had saved my PC game boxes, that would be on the wall behind me right now. But, but alas and alack, I did not. <clears throat> it is National Mac and Cheese Day. Wasn't yesterday, like, National French Fry Day or something? Or was it Monday? I don't remember. On the other side, shitty Western box art. <clears throat> Been hanging around there through a couple of Kingsfields and nothing odd happened. Two years ago, thing about it happened in the chat, someone else's stream. Huh, weird. Are these real days? Well, I'm. Wendy's messaged me, and I was like, because, you know, brands do that now. And they're like, hey, we'll give you a free large fry if, if you come order something. And I tried to get my wife to go to Wendy's, and she was like, no. So I missed out on National Friday, and I guess now I've missed on, out on National Mac and Cheese Day, because it's not like I'm going to get mac and cheese at 10 p.m. Because there are more important things to do. Play fucking Legend of Mana. There's a coupon, so it must be a real day, exactly. Won't eat Wendy's, no one Yeah, I remember you mentioning that, Manic. Wendy's is not an authority on holidays. Well, I'm sure they would dispute that. Viciously and aggressively. Still a few hours of National Nudity Day. All right, fine, chat. Uh, nobody wants to see that. Except maybe Dominic, since he did bring it up. Should declare Gnarl Day sometime. Not a roguelike day. A day for playing anything that's not a roguelike. Wait, 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 you guys are in the hot tub category. <laughs> it's hot tub just got really cold. Oh. Uh, Alright, so anyway. Um, I'll come together and play anything but a roguelike. Yeah, that's kind of a neat idea. Kind of cute. But then there has to be a national roguelike day, right? Because you can't have one without the other. About Wendy's dad is enough of an authority on national holidays. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, stuff going on, things. Vote! If you have not voted for our next game after Legend of Mana, please do. I think you all have. But there's six games up to vote for. You can vote for as many as you want. One vote each, but if you want to vote for five out of six, go nuts. Um, I know on Discord, uh, if Dominic wants to link it here in chat, uh, we're also voting on what day to do Um Jammer Lammy, which is our July community night game. So, any, I think it's pretty much any time in the next two weeks is cool, except Fridays. Because this Friday is Don't Starve Together night, and next Friday has something special planned that I am very, very excited about. And Jammer Lamb is delightfully fucked up. I know zilch about it. I know absolutely nothing about that game. I know a little bit of Parappa. I've seen like one and a half songs on YouTube or something. Nothing. I know nothing about Um Jammer Lamb. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, this should be this should be pretty good. Pretty excited. Never played Lamy either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I think this will be fun. So also I'm probably going to wait until after we settle on a date for I'm um, Jammer Lammy, but I I am going to need I'm going to need a volunteer to run the August community night stuff. You don't have to volunteer now. Um think about it, hang on to it, and then in a couple days when the when the when the July one ends, I'll ping y'all for that. 
Tell you that nothing that happens in Prappa compares to Lammy. Never able to get the timing for Prappa, so didn't try Lammy. Yeah, we're gonna play Nemer and Ruby playing Um Jammer Lammy for our uh, July community night, and it's probably gonna it's gonna happen sometime in the next two weeks. Okay, so anyway, this game that we are playing before us, and I just went too far. Volunteer if I can make all the choices. Final Fantasy V. How the fuck am I supposed to do four job fiesta in one night? How is that supposed to work? Can I get Bud to that last wisdom? Could I go ahead and check off this last event that's been hanging over my head the entire game? I would really like to try and do that. Cause I think it's just I think it's just the one wisdom in the underworld that we're missing. Um, God, please someone vote for which day so I don't have to pick. <laughs> the choice, they're just different job combos. Proper timing is weird. It needs somewhat specific set of conditions not to be weirder. CRT, TV, PS1, original, huh. Proper and Lamy enjoyment is really dependent on your controls. Input lag, your displays display lag. Shit is rough as, so it's, it's a pretty exacting game, huh? I wonder how well it, uh, the PSN version runs, because that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to grab the PS the PSN version on my uh, on my PS3. Crap experiences on CRT original console demo disc. Oddly enough, fine with other rhythm games. I mean, every every rhythm game has its quirks. It does depend. Real talk with best possible job combo. Know exactly what to do and when to do it. There's still absolutely no way in hell that you'll finish before job fiesta run through us. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. I would not. I would not assume so. Is the underworld wisdom, and then once we talk to him, another should appear and got. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I couldn't remember if we had found four or five. Um, can you, can you like fuck off, like go down? Thanks. It got weirder as TVs get newer. Well, we'll see how this goes, guys. Have I talked to all you, all the shadows? Best possible job job combo can mean a lot of different things. I don't remember where dude guy was. Was he at the end of the first floor? Or... Not urgent. There's one other neat side quest available now, and it starts in Lumina. Okay. Well, all, all I really had planned for tonight was murdering dragons, so I'm definitely open to suggestion. When you, whenever you want to break from these extended plot lines. I don't know, this is like the kitchen or whatever. Hell's Kitchen. Ah, oh, I made that joke last time, never mind. Scratch that. Wanna hear some shit? Do I? <laughs> my big excitement today was taking out uh, the trash of my own house for the first time. Really, real, really thrilling stuff. We go. I went to get my A1C test done. Nurse butchered my blood being being drawn on my arm. Oh, yeah. Go for the game stay for the recycled jokes. Yes. Sure, surely you're not expecting anything better than that. Surely not. I don't think we're gonna do the third level yet. They didn't call me. I called them. No results. Wait until Tuesday. Called me. No results. Oh. Huh. Don't call me Shirley. Dominic, did you just turn red? Hey, it's Olbon. It sure is. Let's go talk to him. I'm Bud. I'm traveling the world, listening to the wisdom so I can become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. Know that you can do anything you wish. And never forget that you're a human being, just like any other. 
Thanks, Olbon. I am Olbon, Keeper of the Underworld. Cool, good for you, happy for you. Underworld is a vast place, I can help you get around. Where to? Uh, I guess we're going back to surface. They finally get back to the lab. Fucked up your samples. They had to get me to go back then so they could draw four. Oh, God. That sucks, dude. So I don't know how exactly this happened. Wait, how do I escape from hell? You. Want to leave? Yes. Every time I see Bud wanting, I want to make the let's smoke little Bud joke. I don't know how this happened. Like when I was a kid, I used to be I used to be genuinely fascinated by needles. Like when the doctors would take my would draw my blood, I would just watch them. I would watch with with rapt attention as they stuck me and drew it and everything. Now, like, I nearly pass out when they stick me. And I genuinely don't know why. I do not understand how that happened. Like, I don't, I don't find it pleasant, and I don't find it as fascinating as I did when I was a kid. But, like, just... The, the mental state of being stuck just, like, ruins me now. And I really don't know why. Pretty okay with needles. I got sick in the middle of plasma donation once and it sucks. It's cause you turned into an old wussy. That's entirely possible, yeah. Never very phobic or fascinated by needles. I got used to it, I don't like it. It's not the worst thing ever. I think, I think the turning point for me, thinking about it, thinking back on it now, I think I was, I think I was 100% totally fine with needles. And then I went with my parents to get a flu shot um, when I was in, it was either middle or high school. And my dad went first. And my dad has, like, my, my dad is very tan and I guess has pretty tough skin because the nurse went to jab him. And when she did, my dad's skin, I guess, was so tough that the needle bent. And she was like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> and she switched it out and did it normally, but I was like... <laughs> so I think that may that may have begun my, uh, my, my dislike of needles. Your dad's name Clark. He's Superman to me. Mostly just how to used to it because of how often you have to get blood drawn at this point. Yeah, maybe if I did it more often, it would it wouldn't bother me so much. So, and it, it wasn't it was. Dude, Dad then declare it's clobbering time. <laughs> hey, it's Elva. Nice. Um, something something things lost. Your dad has a default of eighteen armor class. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> It didn't get really bad until, oh God, I had to, I had to go to the hospital once in like, it was just like a year or two after we moved here, I think. And I get, I get dizzy spells, I get vertigo. It's, I've, I've been fine lately. I've been, I've had no trouble lately, but I had a really bad one at work. And HR freaked out, and they were like, do you want us to call an ambulance? And I was like, fuck it, yes. Maybe maybe somebody can make some headway in figuring out what's wrong with me. So they took me, they took me to, no! No, you idiot, no. That's not the right story. That did happen, but that's not the one I'm thinking of. The one I'm thinking of is I was having terrible stomach pains, and I went to my general practitioner, and they did, they did like, I think, they did some test and they were like, okay, you're probably okay, but there's a chance you have something that could kill you. <laughs> you should probably go to the emergency room. And I was like, okay. And I went to the, I went to the emergency room um, and they ended up putting me on an IV for something. 
and it was the IV that fucked me up. I hated that feeling so much. The weird part was I, I had had an IV before because rewinding back to the previous story, when I, had, when I was having my really bad dizzy spells, they had me go get a cat scan of my brain, maybe? Some kind of scan of my brain where they had to pump me full of that dye and they put you on an IV with the dye for like an hour or something. What do they call an IV and not a four? It's a library man. What's up, Fury Fighter? Stop having problems with needles when I, ha I had to have a cortisone shot in your knee and I Ooh, Jesus. Yikes. Do tech skin more leathery than George Hamilton's, maybe. I don't even know if George Hamilton got injections. Been in the hospital twice, had an IV both times, such a pain in the ass. Had once had someone put an IV in your foot? What the fuck? Oh, I just weapon X confirmed. That would make it worth it, at least. Um, but yeah. So I, I'd had an IV before, and it felt gross, but, like, didn't mess me up. But I remember when I went to the hospital this time, and they stuck an IV in me. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, this is a thing that's happening. Oh, I feel really lightheaded. Oh, where's the world going? And I, I was... I was like, excuse me. Excuse me, nurse. I think I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like, <laughs> so I, I woke up, I, I woke up very shortly later, but I was like, that was weird, because <laughs> I had never passed out before like that. I, I'd never, I'd never had that experience. And she's like, yeah, I guess you don't like needles, huh? And I was pretty okay after that. But then, but then, a couple months ago, I went for a checkup, and they drew blood, and them just drawing blood made me so lightheaded I need to lay down. Like, I almost passed out again, and I, I don't know why. I don't get it. Some people are real bad at starting IVs, and they'll put it wherever they can get you. It's actually a position in some hospitals where all you do is start IVs for patients. I mean, it seems like it, it seems like a pretty important skill. Because, like, you're, you're sticking a tap in somebody. Like, we're not a fucking keg here. Like, you want that thing in the right place. Jennifer almost always passes out whenever a needle's involved as standards for a reaction. What, what gets me, Library Man, is it never was normal for me. When I was a kid, I was fascinated by it, and I, like, loved to watch it. And then even, af even after my dad, like, hulked out on the needle, I was still like, okay, this is creepy, but uh, whatever, fine, just do the thing. Little prick, okay, fine. But yeah, now, and, um, vaccines don't bother me at all. Vaccines are totally fine. Don't mind at all. But when they're sucking stuff out of me, or like injecting stuff into me for like a long time, IVs and drawing blood fucks me up so bad. Favorite part of the IV was getting removed. I guess you'd call it my untest. I popped out my knee in high school. Ooh. Then intern, try and get the IV in your hand. You couldn't find a vein. I told the doctor to just relocate the knee. It's Camp Crystal Lake. I'm tired of being fucking stabbed. <laughs> Yeah, I had, I had mine, I had mine in, like, around in here somewhere, I think. I also can't run full blast barefoot around the neighborhood at this point in your life, just saying, true, true. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Selva has to say. I don't think I've met Selva before. I'm Bud, I'm traveling the world, listening to the wisdom, so I can become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. Children are always on the fringes of history's tumult. Is it tumult? I'm, I'm, I'm asking earnestly. Don't ridicule me, chat. Tumult? Tumult? Last IV, they left the port in my forearm while I was there just in case I needed something else. Something about wasn't quite right, so I started bleeding back out through it. Oh, fuck, dude. Ooh. A couple of years ago, I took C to the ER, and they wanted to draw blood, but they brought a newbie nurse over to do it on an older lady with one of the wristbands that means extremely nervous about needles, and she probably went through and through, and there's... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Tumult? Tunak? Tunak, Tunak? Turn alt? Turn alt for what? 
I think it's like Tums without the S. It means uproar. Okay, I'll just use uproar. I'll pronounce it uproar. They have plenty of ideas on how to make up for the adults' mistakes. This looks like a this looks like a Mr. Rogers neighbor uh, neighborhood character. He looks like he looks kind of like a cross between the King and Lady Jane. Lady Jane is that her name? Lady J was a GI Joe character. Oh God, I haven't I haven't opened this door hood this uh, door of my childhood in ages. Tumult is what Google says. Tumult means extreme. <laughs> your childhood memories will serve you through, throughout your career as a sorcerer. Thanks, Selva. Do not fear the future. The flow of time is about to change its way. People will know freedom. Okay, cool. Land to make believe change for when the G.I. Joe crew moved in. Every tumult answer from chat, except for mine. Sorry, chat. I was like Lady Jane. I was like, I was, I was young enough to think like grumpy old puppet was super novel. I think that quest ends when we go home now. Okay. Shit. I think okay. Uh, we need. I, I think we're gonna need to come back here, but I want to go ahead and drop Bud off. Cause if I start too, if I start this one, I don't know where it's gonna end. GI Joe doesn't move and they they invade. I read that as abscess wants to see. I was like, ew, what? Binding of mana. <clears throat> I watched so much G.I. Joe when I was a kid. I had a bunch of G.I. Joe figures, too. Yeah! I had talked to all six wisdoms. You're welcome. Little fucker. Pursuit of wisdoms and achievement unlock. Plucky sorcerers. I wonder if that's an achievement for completing Bud and Lisa's storylines, maybe? Scarlet Lady Jane Snake Eyes were your favorite Joes. I liked I liked Shipwreck and Roadblock. I thought they were so funny. I have I have the clearest memory. Hey Smokey, what's up? I have the clearest memory. Like the coolest thing about G.I. Joe was 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 the long, like the long running storylines. Snow job is easily number one. You just like because of the name, dude. Um <laughs> The, like the best part about GI Joe were the yeah so were, were the long running storylines where like like they were like the Joes and Cobra and the 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 biker gang whatever the fuck they were called were all competing to like find pieces of a world domination device or some bullshit. But there were a couple one off episodes that were really really good and the one that I remember the clearest like I remember this whole fucking episode Sergeant Slaughter because he was real. I remember seeing him on like the promos where it was actually like the dude and I was like, oh, he's real. G.I. Joe is real. Um, I remember this one episode. There was, it was basically the blob, like Cobra, like a Cobra, like, like chemistry lab explodes or something. And this big purple blob emerges and it just like fucking eats everything. Right. And it's getting bigger and bigger. And, and the Joes mobilize to stop it, and their weapons are completely useless. And they discover that, like, apples can stop it. Like, there's some chemical in apples that, like, destabilizes it. And so they, 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 they retool all of their tanks and missile launchers and stuff to shoot apples. <laughs> and they form this big perimeter, and they're launching, like thousands of apples into this thing it's like it's not working it's not working pull back and i have the clearest image of shipwreck standing on like the hood of a jeep with a basket of apples going all right it's gonna be this one all right this one's gonna do it no nah, it's this one and then like roadblock or somebody just fucking grabs him like you idiot come on <laughs> 
so then later they had to like they had to build like a special it was almost like a submarine i think maybe they retooled one of their submarines and like launched it inside the blob to like go in and like find its core and like inject the chemical directly into his core or blow it up or something i don't remember now but yeah, I just I just remember that apple scene and like in hindsight is just the funniest fucking thing. Cause when you think of G.I. Joe, you don't really think of tanks shooting apples at a giant blob. Seventh one is girl. Wait, what? I thought there were six wisdoms. Maybe we are the seventh quiz. So this is called an Apple Marie. <laughs> um, this is something called. Why can I never remember Pursuit of Wisdoms? Why can I never remember what they're called? I think of GI Joe. I think pork chop sandwiches. I think that ruined GI Joe for a lot of people. Little boy got to find six of the seven wisdoms, but they're only six wisdoms? Did they pick that name because it sounds good? Maybe they can't do math. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Yeah, I remember a couple of the big storylines. I remember the world domination device. But I don't remember how that one ended. I remember there were three pieces of it, and the Joes got one. And Cobra got one, and the bikers got one, and I don't remember how that one worked, how that one ended. Um, then there was one where Cobra built some kind of super weapon that ran off of like three rare earth elements. And I think they were fighting over the resources or something. There was one where Cobra opened a bunch of, no. Cobra bought out a bunch of like convenience stores, like 7-Elevens, like all across the country and turned them into like, I think they called them like red rocket stores or something. And their sign was like a big red rocket, but they were actually like ICBMs that they just put up on signposts and they were gonna launch at all the major cities. I think of G.I. Joe, I think of I was once a man and the time Cobra Commander cameoed on Transformers. Yeah, I have I have vivid, borderline, horrifying memories of the GI Joe movie. That movie was fucked up. Red Rock is a dog boner. Sorry, no, you're not. No, you're fucking not. Remember, there's a bunch of world lore in at least one of the encyclopedias. I'm sure there is, and that does not sound like a particularly fun stream to me. Hey, Ash, do you ever watch the GI Joe cartoon that Warren Ellis wrote? I'm not sure. Do not know. What's up? I apologize for calling upon you. I have a favor I need to ask you. It concerns Dana. She left here saying she needed to talk to Irwin, but she hasn't come back. Could you please find her? Sure thing. Thank you so much. I wish you luck. In search of fairies. Okay. G.I. Joe Resolute. Huh. Okay. I think something's about to happen. Oh, lady, lady gets back in position. So Dana went to go find Irwin. Can tell you the area, please do. Please do. Lake Kilma, okay. Pretty area. Very, very pretty. I guess this ice cream is real good because it's gone. That is the sign of a good ice cream. It isn't there anymore. We got, um, we had a, a little pint of, uh, Ben and Jerry's, like, Cinnabon ice cream that was really, really good. And my wife and kids uh, got 
uh, Ben and Jerry's fish food for the first time. And man, they were in love with that. My girls just annihilated that thing. Sea salt, caramel, truffle. I wish there were half pints. I bought some stuff to make do Dole Whip? Dole Whip? Oh, the music in this area is so good. Best Ben and Jerry's flavor stands up to the test of time. I had forgotten how good it was. Because I hadn't I hadn't had fish food since I was a kid. We we normally get like cheaper ice creams, but when, when Ben and Jerry's is on sale now, we do get it. And yeah, fish food is just amazing. It kinda it, it kinda feels like the Snickers of ice creams. Where it's like it really is just like the ideal combination of ingredients. Put extra marshmallow fluff in. Marshmallow fluff, I think, is the best part. I like fish food better when it was called Bovinity Divinity. Isn't that a video game? Ben and Jerry's, I tend to get chocolate therapy. Gimme S'more was also good. Oh yeah, we tried that one too. Madam, my name is Captain Dang. <laughs> my duty to serve a hero. Let me serve you, ma'am. Uh, I bet I can't take you. I already have a pet. Fuck. Damn it. Rip. Rip my duck. Miss Wavy Gravy. The, the ice cream we, we get most often is uh, Talenti Gelato. My wife really, really likes that. They have a really good sea salt caramel. Um, they're they're uh, Belgian chocolate and their double dark chocolate are both really good. I love dark chocolate. I absolutely adore dark chocolate. My name was called uh, In a Crunch, I think. It was peanut butter ice cream, chocolate covered peanuts and peanut. Ooh, that sounds good. I had a, I had a peanut butter ice cream I think it was a Hagen dazs maybe? Tasted really weird. I couldn't really I couldn't really describe it, but it was it felt off. Caramel, cashews, Brazil nuts, chocolate, hazelnuts, swirl, roasted almonds, that's wavy gravy, I can see. I Maybe mean, the ones that are peanut butter base. I don't like the peanut butter ribbon or cups that. Yeah, I think it was the peanut butter ribbon I didn't like so much. It had this like weird, almost chemical taste to it. <gasps> Treasure! How exciting. Oh my god, stop it. I get that taste from Talenti now, not a few years back from now. But now. May have banana Nutella milkshake girl. Like, I love Nutella. I I introduced my daughters to Nutella and now we get the little snack packs and man, they just like they just lick those things absolutely clean. We got a jar we got a jar of Nutella. And like they would just put that shit on everything. It lasted. It, I think it. I don't. I don't think it lasted a week. So we have to pace them on it now. Picked up a new one, the Safeway exclusive. I think it's like peanut butter banana split flavor. I'm not a banana person. I don't. I don't like bananas, but I can see where that would be really good. I'm happy for you. Do you ever look up that chart that parses out the ingredients in Nutella? It's almost all sugar, high fructose corn syrup. That's okay. I've, I've eaten so many unnatural things in my life. I need that, that often having craving for the southern banana pudding. This is close to getting. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. 
That was cool. She got her MGCs up. Pretty sure it's an ancient MVC2 video or some fighting game. Did y'all see the trailer for um, that upcoming Nickelodeon Smash game? That's really literally Smash Brothers, but with Nickelodeon characters? You did? They had a couple deep cuts in there. They had um, Powdered Toast Man and um, what's her name from Ah Real Monsters? I thought that was cool. Heard they might have rollback netcode. I heard that too, yeah. Yeah, I watched the Maximilian Dude video on it. Anyway, for this area, it says to talk to Tote the Turtle and then find Dana. Okay, thanks, Peach. You didn't gain a thing by killing our master, did you? See how foolish you humans are? Where do we go now? I don't know. Can I beat up Gurr with David the Gnome? Uh, possibly. If they put David the Gnome in. Invader Zim is definitely in. Is Doug in it? I If Doug is in it, I might get it. But he wasn't in the launch trailer, so. They haven't revealed all the characters. Wait, what? Doug is a Disney property now? Really? Did Doug change hands? It's Smash Brothers, Douglas. Very expensive. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dig. Doug has been around a long time. It went on to be becoming a Disney morning cartoon. I had no idea. I haven't I haven't exactly kept up with my Doug lore. He was in a Disney Adventures mag. Hmm. The Doug can't show up in this game, but he can show up in his, as an adventure. Well, now I feel cheated that he didn't show up in the uh, in, in the Loki season finale. If Rocco is in this game, I may be down with it. Yeah, yeah, they better put in a, a Rocco character. <clears throat> Doug moved to ABC and that's unbraided. Oh, okay, I actually remember that now. I do remember that now. Ren and Stimpy seem to be, so Rocco should be. Rocco should be. They bought in 1996, damn. Doug, Doug was my favorite of the Nicktoons until Rocco's Modern Life. And then Rocco's was my favorite. You know how we differ from the fairies? Uh, I don't. Darth Doug is a possibility too. A Sith Lord? I like them and also, oh yeah, Our Real Monsters was a good tale. Odd Real Monsters was just, it was, it was right on the cusp of being too gross for me because they really leaned into like the, like, like the, the, like toenail currency and like boogers and slime humor. From Mark Wiener and Nick Smash, you cowards. Put Stick Stickly in Smash. <clears throat> Mr. Carsey Network. Real monsters are too grotesque for you. Barely, uh, just barely not too gross for me, Ren Stippy was over the line. They're all the same, really. Like a million stars reflecting the surface of a lake. That Ugg from Salute Your Shirts. <laughs> Watched a lot of Rugrats. I did too. I liked Rugrats. I did like Rugrats. I, I liked I liked original Rugr Rugrats. When they got older, I, I lost interest in it. I didn't, that's the thing. Like, I liked, I liked a bunch of the Nicktoons when they first came out, but then when like they evolved, I, I, I totally lost interest. Like, I, I feel like they all lost something. Olmec, Olmec, Olmec should be the final boss. Olmec should be like their version of Master Hand. If we're going there, then have Pete and Pete as one of those two. Oh, God. I would definitely get if Pete and Pete were in there. The whole cast of all of all that is a tag team. So you Nick Teens and Ice Cream, there's this episode where the Rugrats are trying to find Ice Cream Mountain. I remember one. I think they were in...
I think they, they were like trapped in the garage or something. And they were trying to imagine their way out of it and like, I, I, I don't remember the setup. I don't remember the setup for this at all. But I think they, they thought it was, it was, it was like, it was their mom or dad and like, it, it wasn't, it was just like a pile of stuff and then it seemed like their head fall, falls off and one of the kids rolls, oh my god, he's been decaffeinated! <laughs> Always wanted to find Ice Cream Mountain. I would live there if I could. But I would live at the, well, now, now that I break it down, I wouldn't want to live on Ice Cream Mountain. Because it would probably melt periodically. So I was going to say, I would want to live at the foot of Ice Cream Mountain, but then if it melts, you're going to get flooded out by ice cream. Oh fuck, I know I've stayed up too late if you're on. What's up, Xlord? Let's get obscure Alex Mack from the secret world of Alex Mack. Dude, put in, um... Fuck, I can't remember her name. I, I used to watch Space Cases on, uh, on Nickelodeon. And there's this really cute girl with rainbow hair. Clarissa's too obvious. Everybody knows Clarissa. Alex Mack was good too. I like that one. Uh, it's a difficult concept for me to understand too. Is that it? Maybe jumping into a fairy's magic circle will send us to their world. The lady was here a while ago to ask just about that. There's an ice cream mountain in Broken Age, is there? Bar from, you can't do that on television? <laughs> That was a weird show. Alanis Morissette from You Can't Do That on Television. Helga from Hey Arnold. Uh, she's in it. She was actually confirmed in the launch trailer, Peach. Yeah. Kick everyone in their shins. Did you come all the way here to look for me? Yes. Thanks. It seems like I'm nowhere near where I need to be. Did you hear what Toad had to say? Yes. I came here to find Erwin. I guess it was true. He's hiding in the land of fairies. Is it Matilda's powers he wants? Or is it revenge on Escad? Sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Goodbye. Phil from YTV Canadian content. Mark Summers from Double Dare. Let's follow her. Okay. She went this way. Bees! Double Dare and Gut Stage would be cool. The trailer, the trailer went so fast it was kind of hard to recognize the stages. Isn't that ironic? Eventually the Nick and Knight DLC series would get old sitcom characters beating the shit out of each other. All right, clearly we found something. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Dana? You're looking all grown up and demonic, Erwin. You've gotten fairies on your side. So what are you up to, big guy? That depends. How much am I capable of? Just answer the question. Say it. What are you going to do about Matilda? She's been aging rapidly ever since she collapsed in the mines. Scad says it's because you took her elemental powers. You're killing my friend, and I can't do a thing to stop it. Well, that's too bad. Shut up. Give her back the elemental powers you stole. Ow. Give Matilda a message for me. Tell her that when everything comes to an end, she'll see that it was all a dream. It's as strong as it come. Super Scare, Ebenezer Squint from Pinwheel. I think I saw like one episode of Pinwheel like ever. Explaining in dot hack, you have to collect pieces of the symbol for the beast statue at the end of each uh, dungeon. So basically it's Legend of the Hidden Temple. Has our master truly been killed? I suppose it means the stone eyes just rock for us too. How do you protect yourselves against the humans now? Masters died, but we live on. I suppose we should be happy. 
grow up on pinwheel? Pinwheel's frightened me. I got a hairball. That's disgusting. You know what I grew up on? Um, around noon every day on Nick Jr., they would show these, like, Japanese anime-style fairy tales, and I watched so much of that. Like, they were dubbed over in English, but, like, the animation style was, like, was definitely, like, 80s anime. And sometimes they went the dark route on those fairy tales. It was super fascinating. The midday Nick movie type deal. Yeah, yeah, because I think it was like an hour block or something. I forget what they called them. <laughs> it's okay, fairy humans frighten me too, and I am one. Noozles. I don't know Noozles. Wait, which way did this asshole go? They're like the Nickelodeon dog. Maybe. Possibly. It occasionally shows awesome Baron von Munchausen cartoon movie, or at least I thought it was awesome as a kid. Some mopped looking dog, a real dog. Okay, I yeah, I don't remember that. No, I'm not gonna make it! Uh, that happened. Lord Irwin takes away the shadows within us. He makes eternity begin. Holy shit! Yeah, metal as fuck. Boom. Get fucked. Wait, hang on, what is this thing? Boreal Hound. This thing looks rad. The gay monster talk is amazing. This is a super cool design. I love this. Pride Wolf rocks. Pride Wolf is kicking my ass, though. Pride Wolf is not fucking around. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! You can plush your bridle. No, get out! Get out! Get out! Oh god! What the fuck, man? I hope we can do this. Ow. I know, I know, I know I'm gonna die. I know it's awful. Go Lucy. Shit. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. I oh, use bullshit. Okay, that's not so bad. He keeps doing fucking specials! What the- Oh! What?! <laughs> so going fighting. Continue! Alright. I was kind of worried that since I didn't save tonight, I was gonna have to redo everything, but they give you a continue. That's nice of them. All right, that is the first boss in this entire game to best me completely. Turn off combat, he said. He said, it'll be fine, he said. I didn't turn off combat. She has the powers of metal gayness and anime on the side. Good luck, motherfucker. Really, this thing's just too rad for me. 
Like, I cannot measure up to its radness. Yeah, our teammates are pretty weak. Oh, I really need this to hit, and I don't think it's gonna hit. Yeah, because I threw it the wrong fucking way. Ah! Okay, I actually did manage to avoid that somehow. Stop doing things! That's not good. There we go, okay. And that time we finished at full health. I want a t-shirt with a picture of this thing on it. Yeah, Lisa, we won. <laughs> upgrade, haven't upgraded our gear in forever, which is fine for our weapons since they're buffed by the armor. That's a good point, that's a good point. There's a short-lived show called Lady Lovely, Lovely Locks or something, kind of like Rainbow Bright. She had magic hair. A bunch of evil hair ran sticking out of the ground. What's up, Shadows? Find out what happened to Dana? Uh, she's in the land of the fairies. Aren't the land of the fairies? Does that mean Erwin is there too? No, I shouldn't ask you anymore. Thank you for telling me. I used to see fairies very often myself. But a scad could not. He used to make a face when I was speaking with them. That's what we were talking about when he was here just now. He says he can see them now, albeit faintly. Perhaps they still live in these parts too. Rainbow Bright had this weird mix of sickly sweet art and kind of unsettling dark fantasy stuff that sounds similar. I remember that. I remember a bit of that. I've seen a few episodes of Ra uh, uh, a bit of Rainbow Bright. It's pretty neat. Matilda. Who might you be? We haven't seen each other for quite some time, Matilda. Don't you remember me? My name is Selva. Silva, of the Four Winds? One of the Wisdoms? <clears throat> the very same. I used to visit you when you were an infant, and I know you well. Did you know how Erwin took away my elemental powers? A lot of movies where 80s kids shows got weird and dark, that's for damn sure. Certainly do. When era comes to an end, anything can happen. An era's end? You can foresee the future? What will happen to Erwin and Niskad? The future is decided by those who will walk its path. You, Dana, es you, Dana, Escad, Erwin, Elazul, Pearl, Lark, Sierra, and Ayla? You thought so too. I hoped I might hear that. Oh, I cannot say anything about what the wisdoms have decided. The GI Joe one. Yeah, the GI Joe one is super dark by the end. There was a Dark Care Bear was one. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. And my memories of that one have, have faded. But yeah, that one gets pretty dark too. Obon the Warrior, Gaia the Earth, Raziati the Beast, Tote the Tortoise, Pokio the Bird, and Selva of the Four Winds. You shall become the Seventh Wisdom. But why me? You are the one who will end this era. <laughs> Just kidding, it's Matilda, not us. I know. My selfishness has caused chaos. I loved Erwin. I deserve to be punished. Please allow me to die this way. It is for the world. Matilda, you're allowed to love anyone you want. People are the light, but they fear the shadows they cast. These shadows don't exist. You understand, don't you? Love the He-Man movie? I'm not sure I saw the He-Man movie. Oh, the live-action He-Man movie. Yeah, I've definitely seen that one. If 
finally make a He-Man movie, 90% of it takes place in New Jersey. Approaching the end game, I feel like the recap of the characters we met kind of points in that direction. That's right, we did watch that together. <laughs> Dick knows I'm dying and everything hurts, so if you can stop bothering me, I appreciate it. Anyone remember the Flash Gordon live action movie? Yes! Yes. I watched that with my parents. That was. Flash! Ah! <laughs> yes! Let's talk about the original animated Transformers movie. Here are all the Autobots you've come to know and love. Let's kill 95% of them in the first 10 minutes. Wasn't that. Okay. Wasn't that the plan? Like, wasn't that what they were gonna do? Like, I. I, I I read a thing or watched a thing or talked to somebody about things where they were planning out a Transformers movie and a G.I. Joe movie and a, a My Little Pony movie. And they were going to kill like all the main characters because that would allow them to make new toys for the characters that would replace them. And they started with the Transformers movie and people were so upset that Optimus Prime died that they went back and did rewrites on the G.I. Joe and My Little Ponies movies to, like, back off of that. Because I know... I, I know in the G.I. Joe movie, like, Duke gets fucking killed. Like, they shove a goddamn snake through his heart. And then there's, like, a throwaway scene at the very end where they're like, Duke's coming out of his coma. He'll be fine. I think the recap of the names there is probably a hint you which quest lines are main plot. That makes sense. Optimus Prime died for your sins. Yes, uh, yes. Optimus Prime died to save them all. And came back anyway, so whatever. See only the future. The guilt you feel only locks the door to your heart. Open your heart, Matilda. Forgive yourself. Before they realized people would buy 20 versions of the same character without any real variation except something on the box claiming it was new. Yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> back in back in the days where they would put actual effort into bilking you of your money. Then they realized, oh, we don't actually have to do anything. We'll just repackage Optimus Prime and give him a different gun and people will buy that too. Planned obsolescence. Cynically, it makes perfect sense for capitalist IP. Yeah. <laughs> Quietly pushes the shattered glass variants of Transformers behind a curtain. If you enjoy them, Smokey, nobody is going to shame you for that. But... But we can also talk about how how bald facedly capitalist it is for them to do that. The flow of time is about to change its way. People will know freedom. What you, is he a keychain? Is he, a, he, is he a magic talking keychain? I like my evil Autobot and good Decepticon toys. And as well you should! Enjoy them! Search of Foddish! Hey, 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 what's up? Because I took the description to the room. Stick against a transmetal Dinobot. Well, then I guess I'll have to improvise. I want to go to Fairy World. Too bad. Little cactus should have been the seventh wisdom. You can totally see them trying to sell Transformers with broken windows, though. In search of fairies. Today's story is about a woman who disappeared when she went to the lake to look for a demon. I say she should have been catching fish instead of demon. Quietly pushes shattered glass off from his prime with a shattered windshield behind a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> to understand trans. What is this? There is a tiny spider on my glasses. Probably can't see him. Go, buddy. Go. 
Go be free somewhere where I'm not gonna squish you. There. Over here. There you go. I mean, I mean, tiny, like dust speck spider. He's fine. Just trying to say hi to the much bigger spider on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm trying to be nicer about spiders because I realize how helpful they are and I I hate all the things that they eat. So I want spiders in my house. It's just when when it comes to insects and arachnids, I don't want them on me. I am totally fine with them as long as they just stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, almost none of them bite us. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna go pick up that duck. There's really, really time I would keep an eye out for more. Spiders are okay, you don't want a pregnant female in your house. I'm gonna go get that duck, and then I think I'm gonna go pick up Underworld Guy and maybe slay another dragon, maybe. Will you need to release a pet to make more? I don't think, I don't think it's that we're out of room. I think it's just that I had one with me. An egg may have hatched, you know, soon have hundreds descending on your head anytime now, you'll never know when. I mean, there's no vents or anything. I don't think they're living in the light fixture. I don't think. Uh, duck was at the lake. We had a whole bunch of uh, daddy long legs at our last place. I actually kind of like those. Really, really tiny spider raised the possibility to recently hatch. You know, if the egg sack is in your house, then we'll have lots of spider friends. Tons of spider friends. It's it's fine. It's really it's really really fun. Huh, somehow I didn't go this way. Fun thing I learned, some spiders will chase laser- Really? Oh, that's cute. You have no pet, no companion. Is that a deliberate choice? Yes! Because I'm going to pick up the duck pet from the lake, and then I'm going to go to the underworld and pick up Dragon Slayer guy. I wonder what's in, what's, in, what's in the treasure chest. Oh, moth wing. Yeah, it's it, it's one of my little nitpicks with this. <laughs> there was a cool shirt, but moth ate it. That's one of my nitpicks with this game, is the treasure is super, super, super unexciting. Well, I guess the corral is full. I'm getting this duck. This is, this is a non-optional duck. We're getting the duck. Ow, you dick. Big blobby dick. <laughs> and I got electricity. What does pet taste best? I'm not getting rid of the rabbi. I like the rabbi too much. <coughs> we have two unloved pets. We did the thuggling quest. There's a rabbi.
Let's see, I don't really use any of these pets. I like the Rabbi, and I like... I like the Marlboro. Other than that, we could maybe... We could maybe get rid of the others. I still haven't done Ring Ring Land. Can you drive past so I should not to mess with ducks? Yeah, we'll get rid of Bruce. Hello there! I'll give you a really good deal for your dear pet. Let me take a look. My, how cute. Hmm. Uh-huh. I use 770 lucre. It's a deal! Goodbye forever. And then we'll get rid of the mole bear. We can do the Thugling Quest at Duma Desert as long as you go alone and there's four or less than Kral. Okay. So, I'll just go do that first. I'll go do that one first, and then we'll get the duck after that. Oh no, I want, no, 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 fuck, shit. Why didn't it default to rid me of you? It's a deal. Alright, um, let's set... Let's set these guys to graze. <laughs> it's like, fine, I'll eat your fucking grass! God damn it, I kept looking around. It, God damn it, I keep looking around the Transformers wiki. What did you find? Um, I hope you like meat. I haven't played this game since PSX. The Steam version seems really good. I like it. Um, might be map placement restriction. We can check the element level. Okay. Uh, what do you like? Maybe... Bird meat? I don't know. Um... Hay bombs? Yeah, some lettuce. Okay. All right, we're good. With Mothman, just kidding, don't listen to me. All right, let's save while I'm thinking about it. Need to have three dry out on Duma Desert. Mm, looks like a noob. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> All right. Well, original plan. Let's get the duck. And let's go see if we can slay a dragon. I have two more artifacts, too. Oh, there was something. Somebody mentioned a quest in Lumina, right? I have another thing to add. Who really eats bread or drinks potions they find in random boxes have probably been there for years, realistically. My nitpick, my nitpick is why, why is the protagonist the only person in the world to open these chests? 
Why does everyone else in existence just leave them be? Especially when there's inevitably, like, gangs of thieves and bandits roaming around. Surprisingly few with an element requirement. I mean, we have, you know, we've, we've clearly been able to do a majority of the quests in this game. They've all figured out they're full of junk. Like, oh cool, cough syrup, it's way past expiration. Hey. Let's fuck him up, duck. There's only two other ones, and one is the Egg and Domino. People who came before took the real contents and left behind the worst stuff they no longer needed. What? He throws an egg grenade that explodes into tiny ducks. Originally full of legendary items, now the full of shit. He's just hanging back there smoking. Duck throws an egg, what do you mean he? It might not be his egg. Need three shade on Domino for seeing double. I think we've surrounded it though. Domino might have everything except shade, actually. Oh no. Yeah, definitely not shade. And yeah, unless there's something dark and evil that you can throw in the ocean, that's not happening. Yeah, it's no big deal. I, I knew I was going to be missing quests anyway. Not forcing a gender on a duck. Excuse me. I, I apologize. Ready to hunt some dragons? Let's go. The Bone Fortress. The Bone Fortress. I'm guessing, yeah, we probably have to place that. Uh, Dragon Bone, I'm guessing it's this one. The <laughs> Yep, that looks about right. Alright, Boner Palace, here we go. Dead and empty. Okay, I think I think I just triggered a different quest. Gathering yeah, herbs that grow on that hill. Actually, I just realized I don't have I don't actually have a quest for killing dragons. I'm just killing dragons. There was a title drop, the field trip. The bone fortress is full of scary, scary skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Students here all go to the Academy of Magic. We're here to work on our triple reagent missing, mixing assignment. Miss uh, Thesinus said we should mix the ingredients we find around here, but we're having no luck at all. Even the flowerlings are helping out, but we had nothing but duds. Could you go gra gather three reagents for me? Bring them back here and I'll mix them. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Wah! Oh, so that's Miss Thinesis. It's all right, we're working hard. Good. Whew. The teacher's way too scary. Making some potions, good for you. Since they just passed, people have said the plants on that hill are full of the power of mana. Okay. So tired. Here's a nomad tooth. Where's the nomad? Look, fairy scales. I found some holy pen. Well, give it a shot. Did you just fart? Oh shit. 
Let's get past it. I was cluttered with these fuckers. The spotted silver mushrooms. I got some star sparkles. Here's a roly poly bug. Oh, we talked to three different ones. Oh, God. Okay. Almost, I think we're getting really close. You said one of the first three seemed to be okay? I found a rat tail. There's a roly poly bug. Drowning leaves. Fairy scale, star sparkles, and silver spotted mushrooms. Okay. I swear artist says, did you just fart once per stream? It's projection. So you had fairy scales. Uh, God. You had star sparkles. I think the lady had silver spotted mushrooms? Yes! Fuck yes! All right, we made some triagran. When little kids take this, it makes their heads explode. One time, Bud drank some by mistake and ran around all day long. I can't give you any tree around, but here, take this instead. I think we just made meth, yeah. No, uh, more specifically, I think we just hit, helped a child make meth. Seems like an important distinction. Is educational? Did you beat the game? Not unless the children start exploding. Hey, 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 love meth, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Gotta escape your destiny. We will kill those dragons. Speedrun children explode, 80%. No breaks for you, only dragons. Blammo! I'm a child? Does that mean I can explode too? Yeah, so this was the field trip. There it is. Picking up stuff from the ground, mixing it, and making them go boom. Isn't that a little bit childish? Didn't your mommy tell you not to do things like that? The cactus is kind of, kind of boring. I wouldn't have expected a little cactus to not want to blow things up. To scold. All right, I said I was gonna kill a dragon. <laughs> oh, excuse me. New house is very comfortable, but it's keeping me a lot busier. Because any any free time I have, I kind of need to kind of need to be organizing stuff. Buy seeds and plants here. That's cool. Might need Lark. Oh, God, you're right, yeah. I totally forgot. And scatterbrained. I was, just, I was just so excited to get back to the Bone Fortress. The Bone Zone, if you will.
sense something. Oh, this didn't even trigger last time anyway. And again, what is that strange voice? Tell me what is going on here. Uh, I don't know if I should. We've been using local herbs and minerals as reagents for our potions. The herbs on the hill are said to cure any sickness. But lately, there's been a weird voice coming from inside that bony castle. People say that one of the ancient dragons of knowledge lives there. Dragons of knowledge? Aren't they just big lizards? We heard you. Doesn't like you talking shit about him. Okay, I have a question. Because I've heard... Oh, that was quick. Um... I've heard maybe run Nemesis. I'm not sure. I don't think we've actually had a title drop for this dragon thing. I think we're just killing dragons because they're here. I assume the title drop will come later, maybe for the last one. Um, I'm curious. I've, I've heard a little bit about the Dark Cloud games on PS2. Don't they have kind of like a similar concept as, as this, where like, the world's been wiped out and you're kind of reassembling it yourself. Like, how similar is Dark Cloud to something like this? There you go, Ghost of Nemesis. Heard this got placement, never actually played it. Away with you humans, this is no place for you. I'm staying. Your Dragoon, could it be? We've come to see Jajara, now let us through. Never, accursed fiends, I shall exterminate you here and now. I'll send you back to the underworld where you belong. Okay. Rocket punch! Rocket punch! Rocket, rocket, rocket punch! Under the impression that Dark Cloud is more town building? I guess what I'm really getting at is, are there, are there any games that are similar to this one? Games that were inspired by this or just play out in a similar way? The Dragon Slayer armor all over again. That's okay, we, we dizzied him, so. He ain't getting very far. And he turned to bones. And everybody leveled up, cool. Who he, has anyone here actually played Dark Cloud? I don't remember how well received the first one was, but I seem to recall the second one was really popular. Oh, there we go. Can't really think of anything similar. Well, shit, maybe, maybe we should do Dark Cloud sometime. Some of the sagas are similarly structured that they don't have the world building conceit. Like some kind of trap. You must be careful here. What in the? Get giant's horn. Where would I end up? This place looks festive. Oh, uh, I think we're all separated. Valkyrie profile also isn't land placement. It's kind of a similar itch with more narrative. I found the vertebra room. That's great. I found a little scully boy. That's cute. I guess maybe we should try making some new stuff out of these or Halcom pieces I found. I did lose my friendos, yes. 
You gotta recruit and send up your Einherjar with a lot of vignette style. Yeah, we gotta. We need. We need friendos back. I came out the wrong way. Valkyrie profile is also not really like anything else. Okay, but where the hell am I going? I feel like I just went around a big loop. Little Skelly Boy is cute. I like him. The Valkyrie profile is super dense, but those who love it really love it. Oh, okay. Uh, I feel like you might connect better with Valkyrie profile. Can't remember how much you need to cling to a guide. There's multiple endings. I think in the future... Can't go on the fortress as me. Just leave me be. Ah! That's so weird. Didn't really click with you back in the day once uh, in a while. I feel like going back and giving another shot. Okay. I think in the future, like I am, I am enjoying this, certainly. But I think in the future, I wanna kinda try to avoid games that really need a walkthrough to get you through them. And I know I I know this game doesn't need a walkthrough, but streaming it without one would have meant a whole lot of just like random wandering just to figure out how quests connect. And I I, I think personally I I much prefer playing games. Oh, huh. I much prefer games where I can I can kind of explore and and follow the clues at my own pace without them being so obscure and weird that I really need to walk through for them. In the Valkyrie profile too, you'd probably get bad ends with that one. The youngins are trapped here in the Bone Fortress too. I'll help you out. If you're ever lost, just ask my friends. They'll guide the way. Okay. Duck! Welcome back, Sergeant Duck. I see you're holding out on me with the demon meat. Well. Okay, so you just wants to go that way. You saved you son. Yeah, but how much was there to start with? Okay, so the skulls open doors for us. It really looks like it should open. Good thing your ducky friend didn't fall victim to foul play. On that note, Aisha also has multiple endings if we haven't ended up doing it, mostly based on friendship levels. Don't think you need to dig deep into a guide for anything. Okay. That's good to hear. Yeah, this one, it's just... At this point, it's not so much like the the land placement stuff. Because like you said, there's not even that many quests that where the land placement determines access and all. I think what's getting me about this game is now 
Now we have quests where it's like, oh, we need to go find Dana. And, like, literally no indication whatsoever where she is. Like, I feel, this, I feel like this game was really good about that early on. When there were, when there were fewer locations. Phil's remaster could have really benefited from a modern quest list. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I feel that too. But yeah, the further we've gotten in this game, the more quests we've gotten where it's just like, okay, find this person. And it's like, they're in a place where there's no logical reason for them to ever be. Find, find Dana, time to walk through the entire goddamn world. And so yeah, like, Technically, you don't need a guide to play this game, but oh my god, the amount of, like, aimless wandering I would have to do without y'all, like, leading me around in this, I think would have killed this game for me. Would have killed it stone dead. We would have gotten, like, three or four nights into it, and I would have been like, I can't take this anymore. So. And while I am, while I am enjoying this game, I do kind of want to avoid that in the future. I like, I like being able to figure out stuff on my own. Hasn't it ever backseat you I offered since, uh, since I figured you'd drop it? Yes, and it is, it has indeed been very, very helpful. Sometimes, sometimes that's just how it works out. In fact, I might, I might ask your help again here because I'm really not sure where I'm supposed to go now. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of concerned that there's a, there's a door here that I'm not recognizing or something. Do you think you tend to have more enjoyable experience with tedious games due to chat guiding you? Yes, yeah. Might be an issue with future saga games starting from romancing one. So let's take the elevator. There's an elevator. <laughs> I just opened a gate. I found a transportation device. The youngins are trapped in a bone to help you out. Where do you want to go? There we go. Uh, I guess the third floor? Sixth floor. I will note that I think Scarlet Grace is pretty friendly to guide this play. You must be looking for Lark. Everyone can do, can do cool teleporty shit except us. Tell me, why do you serve Draconis? You must know why he wants to kill the dragons. No idea! Let's see. I'm sorry, but I cannot let you live. Without you, Draconis will surely be forced to give up. And then I will not have to kill Lark. I'm not sure this is going to end super well for you. Teleport home feature would have been nice too. Yeah, there's certainly there's certainly a lot of really good quality of life stuff in this, but they could have done more. And yeah, I think I think ironing out quest flow would have been huge here. Because some of these I just I don't have the faintest clue how you're supposed to understand. How are you supposed to figure it out? Other than just aimless wandering. Why the goddess, you're too strong by far. Someday, someday I will stop you. I got a key. What'd it go to? Now second floor. But I just found the hallway of cartilage. It's got an eyeball in it. And another vertebra room. There's a lot of vertebra rooms. And a zombie claw. This is great. If I scratch myself with it, I too can become one of the mindless undead. Strap the key to your axe. Make a key axe. Ribcage hallway? I... I...
I kind of want to know what it is. understand how this works now. I get it now. Table key axe can open any wooden door eventually. Little buddy, there is meat right there for you. The next weapon in Grand Blue called the Master Key. <laughs> uh, they definitely could have made this mini game more engaging too. The undead egg is yours. It's like a real baby. Eat him up! Nom nom! Here comes the airplane! So I guess now we get a baby Zambi. More vertebra! I love it! <laughs> Second floor. So I guess we start in the basement then? Fuckers are strong. Alright, nothing in here, but there is a purple skull, which I have a funky feeling maybe part of, of a puzzle or something. Baby Dargon! I like Baby Deadgun. He was full of meat, though. Taking the dragon sling seriously. Hey! Who goes there? Can't believe I fell for such a trap. I'm sorry. All right, we got the band back together. And I found a clump of ash. Dude's pretty solid. Story still has a neat feature you can instant kill things much weaker than you. That is cool. That sounds like a nice quality of life thing. Hmm. Alright, I made it back to the first floor. Earthbound, as far as you know, did it first. You go over there. 
Ready? Here we go. Alright, we did it. And that just takes us back to the transportation device. Uh, is this third floor now? This has, this seems like it should be important. It has three spots around it. Oh, here we go. Bring a whole army if you must, you will not pass. Mm, well, that isn't Lark the Conqueror. We meet again to last, Deathbringer. So you serve Draconis now. You should be a worthy opponent. Ha! To me, we would... To think we would meet, like... To think we would meet again like this. It's only been a hundred years. That's not a dragon. That is Death Incarnate. I might have done that the wrong time. Never mind. <laughs> we both missed. Obviously, it's the theme song. Most impressive, you just might be the one. Nothing to lose. Then, neither do I. You haven't bothered making it anonymous, we all know who it was. The throne of corpses. Duck. Duck, get your fluffy ass over here. Drama is happening. That's the power of mana. That dog, Jajara, must be close by. Jajara, in the name of my master, Draconis, I've come to cut you down. Draconis, I see your selfish craving for mana is not diminished. You've not seen enough bloodshed? It's foolish. Foolish beyond compare. Well? Is, is Big Gargan. Death Puny compared to the dead dragon you're fighting inside, anyway. True. I guess they just don't make them like they used to. Ah, oh, I think I fucked up. On the bright side, though, that saved me from damage. Of attacking. <laughs> We're all fighting a dead dragon inside in a way.
Achievement unlock money bags. Thanks for finding tons of money and not spending any of it. Oh god, what's happening to my boner fortress? Uh, that's kind of fucked. Holy shit, okay. You put yourself back together wrong, friendo. Oh no! What a time for your stupid attack. Doesn't matter, you still lost. Ha! <laughs> My dead duck got experience. From dead duck, start the grill. Master Jacronus, will he stop at nothing until this world is... Fear not, henceforth you shall rest forever in the underworld. You know, I sense the power of mana. Oh my god, this duck. Duck is the worst for cutscenes. Seeing this is the reason the herbs around here are imbued with great power. Jajara built this castle to try and hide that. How greedy. You look like you have something to ask me. When I locate a mana stone, his power transfers directly to our lord. Once the mana leaves here, this place will crumble and die. No ghost will stand guard here then. But try not to pay too much mind. Here, this is from Draconis. Hiding to grow up. Got the artifact green cane. Lord Jurhanus takes great interest in your accomplishments, and there's but one mana stone left. The day of our return is near. Help him bring back the Dark Lord. Yeah, yeah. I'm not clear on why this is even a quest. I don't, I don't understand how this is helping with any of our goals. What's up, tagged? What happened to Gilbert? He's done. I hope. <laughs> Hopefully, we've done the last Gilbert quest. Just getting a screenshot the quest list in the diary, uh, so I can figure out what's missing. Alright. Let me check in with Little Cactus, and then you can take a look. Skelly Snappy! The bones go snap, snap, snap! Favorite thing to do is make Gilbert explode. <laughs> not, not too many left now? I don't think so. Ghost of Nemesis. Was it fun going up and down in the fort made of bones, or was it scary? I wouldn't know, because I'm only a cactus in pot. Alright, so... 46. Alright. We've done 46. Total. So, alright. Cactus Diary. We're missing three, although I don't think we're getting back to that one. Uh, 13, 15, 16, 17, 20. Twenty-five, twenty-nine. 
Did you do Gilbert resume for love? Yes. I think I did I think I did everything with Gilbert. He toured the world, he romanced a ton of ladies that didn't want shit to do with them. He got turned to stone. I think he missed the 50s. Uh, it's just 51 and 52. That's the one where you can blow him up. We were we were nice to Gilbert. We, we decided to give Gilbert one more chance to not be a complete creeper. All right, um, with that did, I think somebody mentioned that there was a quest in Lumina. You get the incantation wrong, it just explodes and everyone's like, well, <laughs> and the event fails. Funny. That's really funny. Did we do Tea Time of Danger? I think so. Oh, weird. I didn't know you do that. You did, Manic. You did indeed. Tea Time of Danger is the initial event of the Mindus Ruins. Uh. Did we do that? Let me check real quick. Yeah, Tea Time of Danger. Rescue Tifo from the ruins, yeah. Go find Capella and Diddle. Okay. Yeah, okay. I remember that now. Okay, well, that was abrupt. Man, there he goes again! Diddle's had it! Got into him this time. Oh well, it's none of my business. Nope, I don't care. Oh, okay. I would not have expected home. I didn't know this time, oh well, it's not my business. <laughs> nope, I don't care, quest complete. <laughs> oh, if only. If only it was that simple. What the hell? This event you can fail if you choose to escape while talking to Pokeel instead of finishing it. Just something to be mindful of. Alright, thank you, Tagged. That is good to know. Oh, Diddle, why does he always do this to me? I know, I know. I'll go look for him. Avoid giving any spoilers, but I think a little warnings about things to be careful of should be okay if you'll, uh, since if you just reload a save, it's just saving time. Diddle's one of your favorite characters. The organ theme is so heartfelt to you. I 
can see that. I think you can figure out where to go from here. Up to 18 quests left, including the final one. Okay. Yeah, I figured we'd still be playing this one probably through next week as well. But we'll see. Diddle! Capella, I can't go on. I've had it. Wait a minute, what do you mean you've had it? Is that what life, pal? He's with us now. Diddle Strove, Strove Depression, something I think everyone can relate to at least a little bit from time to time. It's a great shit old voice, by the way. Thank you. You're coming too. Well, another one. You're going straight to the bottom. <laughs> Diddle goes to hell. That should have been the quest name. This is the bottom of the underworld. Welcome to the underworld. They say the dead come here to rest, but it's really meant for souls to still cling to life. To hell with Diddle. As long as you still feel happiness or sorrow, you must avoid the shadows. If they sense emotions, they will try to drag you to the depths of this place. This is your personal nemesis quest? You gotta avoid touching them? Oh, gross. Okay. You move so fast, too. Oh, you can talk to Pokeyl, just don't choose to give up. Ah, uh, okay. I misunderstood. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. What is... That's a Chimera? Oh, Jesus, ain't much enough in there. Is it? Now you'll do it in one, hopefully. I gotta be honest with you, this may be the last quest we do tonight, just because I am surprisingly tired at the moment. Like, I'm lit. Oh, shit, they're still there even if they disappear. Okay. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna turn encounters off for this. I can see that getting really annoying every time I do this. They're annoying and just go invisible. Kinda like another game I played recently. With invisible enemies. Terribly annoying floating mage-like ones. God damn it! Pretty great how I ran the first one I saw. Now imagine the 12 year old uh, turn based gamers' reflexes. 
Well, the thing is, like, your default move is so fast. It's kind of hard to avoid screwing it up. On um, plus five, as you fail more and more and more and more of this shit always go. Oh, they do, don't they? Look at that. God damn it! Remember not to open the chest here unless you get teleported backwards. Wait. If enemy touches you, it won't be back when you respawn. Sound familiar? It is just quest of key. You can change the default move to walk and also you can hold the left trigger to walk. Let me see here. There it is, left bumper. Oh my God, Tagged, I've been playing this. I've been playing this game for weeks and didn't even realize that. Thank you so much for that. There we go, first try! You little bastards. No, I had that! Oh my god, I had that. So it seems like it's, it's minus it's, it's minus one shadol from every scene that you pass through. Yeah, because there was, there was like a full complement of them before. There were like eight or nine. That's awfully nice of them. I bet there's an achievement for doing it on the first try. Yeah, now there's only four there. Okay. All right, I see it. There we go. Repeatedly slam yourself in the end until you have a clear field. Come on, Diddle, let's go back to the surface. I miss the sun. No, nothing is fun out there. You always have fun and people have fun watching you, but I don't. <laughs> You're sounding like a good shadol to be. I don't always smile because I'm having fun, you know. Then why do you always have a smile on your face? That's, that's for me to decide. Just say things without even thinking. You got that wrong, Diddle. Stop it. Why are you smiling again? Well, this is kind of funny. Nothing's funny. There's nothing good about life. You get hurt, have fights, and there are too many goodbyes. Watching your shows doesn't make anything better. And I don't like it when people laugh while you juggle. <laughs> All right, I get it. I hear you, Diddle. This world is full of boring stuff and nasty things, but I still like living here. Why don't you come back up once I make the world a better place? So, take care until then, I guess. I'll be waiting for you up top. Ha! Can't go back after we've taken you in. Once you become a shadol, you can never return to your original form. Hella. I won't turn into a shadol. I'll stay just like this, so don't worry about me. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's not gonna turn into a shit all. Yeah, right. Are we ever gonna have fun with this one? Are we ever gonna have fun with this one? Come on, Diddle. Say goodbye to those shit -holes. If you come with me now, I promise I won't laugh or even smile. Diddle, was it? I'll let you in a secret. All you need to do is run. If you make it up there, you'll be free from us. If you don't make it, then the monster's gonna gobble you up. Of course, no one has ever made it out alive before. Uh, hi? 
Ow, you fuck. Boom. Get nuked. Explore. First name Diddle, middle name Zagreus. <laughs> to get you. I should have trusted you like I do. <laughs> hey, Capella, can we stay and watch the stars a little while longer? Okay, but just a little. How come? Because I'm so happy. If we stay too long, I might smile and then I'd break my promise. It's okay, Capella. You can smile. The stars spin as they fall when you're trying to catch your breath. What's that supposed to mean? It's a secret. <laughs> You're one strange guy. All right. Diddles had it. Oddish has had it too. Oddish is enjoying this and wants to keep playing, but I literally can't stay awake. Hey. Hey, Diddle Diddle. Hey. Hey. Yeah, so hey, 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 chat. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey. Hey, listen! Hey! Hey, listen! <laughs> Try not to have breakdown without me! Got the full list for next time now. Anyway, good! Good, good, good. Sidolabi! Man, it's like Applebee's in the underworld. Shadola bees. Alright, that was... I don't know. Oh, Diddle's had it. There it is. What's the difference between people who like doing the same thing every day and the ones who don't? I like being a cactus every day, but maybe I'm not supposed to. Did I get that right? Sounds like a horrifying hybrid between wasps and shadows. Yeah. One more diddle quest, three more penguin quests, and the rest are main story, I think. Interesting. Okay. I remember I remember y'all said the penguin ones are kinda awkward and random, so we may not end up doing that. But we'll see. One more other one. We'll see. We'll see how we feel next time. So, but yes, yeah, we we can certainly give them a try. And if they suck, I'll just leave or botch them on purpose. All right, so productive night. I do apologize for ending early, but I think moving and work and streams have taken a bit of toll on me, and I need to get some more sleep. So I'm going to roll myself into bed as soon as I send you off to, to raid somebody. But, but, we will return to this on Monday. I just want to see the rest of Jimmy before we call it done. I think that's fair. I can definitely do the rest of the main plot stuff. G uh, Jimmy, Fairy, and Dragon, I think, right? Your troll house. Um, so yeah, we'll be back on this on Monday. Uh, tomorrow night, we'll be going back to the page of Nintendo Power. We'll be on Volume 5, looking for neat classic games to play. Man, that duck is just grooving out. Only five non-main left total. Okay, that sounds entirely doable. Friday night, we are doing uh, Don't Starve Together multiplayer. If you enjoy Don't Starve, please, by all means, jump in and help me not starve. Because I'm not very good at not starving. I'm kind of starving right now. 
Saturday more Nintendo Power, and also Saturday will be the end of the vote. At the end of Saturday's stream, if you can stay up with me for the whole evening, I will tell you what we will play next after we finish this game. And I'm planning on just going straight into whatever y'all vote on right after this one. Um, there are some unreleased games that have been requested, but I don't think any are releasing soon. Um, and yeah, some other stuff I want to do, but the, the big thing I want to do is uh, whatever story-driven game we vote in next. So, And also, don't forget to pop into Discord and vote on which day you want to do Um Jammer Lammy. We're doing that this month. Which game is currently in last place and needs to a boost? What do we need to vote for six-way tie? I ain't, I ain't telling y'all shit. <laughs> I am not giving you any chance to screw this up. Um, I will tell you that it's pretty even for the most part. There, there is a there is a current leader. Um, but there are three games very close to it in vote totals, so. And that is all you're getting out of me, chat. He doesn't trust us at all. Not that he should. He's learned. I know y'all. I know how you be. I know how we do. Be cautious, vote for anything but the millionaire slog of Okami. I think... I think... Okay. Hang on, let me see here. I mean, I know Okami's long. Atelier Aisha is probably pretty long. Planescape Torment is very long. I know that for a fact. The other three would definitely be shorter games, but... We'll see. I dearly like the game, but holy hell will that be long if it wins. Well, <laughs> why doesn't he trust us? I just want to ruin everything. Aisha's about 20 or 30. Yeah, I figured Carto and uh, Call of the Sea are pretty short. And I know Secret of Evermore, so it's It's got some it's got some heft to it, but it's it's not as huge as the other three, so. Yeah, the other three, I guess Aisha would probably be the shortest. Planescape might be the longest. I'm not sure. It might be longer than Okami, but I'm not sure. I I never played Okami, so I don't know for certain. Oh, I need. Aisha's definitely short for an RPG if you don't have percent. Yeah, which I wouldn't. So. New background, by the way. Ten thousand dragon coins well spent. I don't think Planescape is as long as you remember being. I looked it up on how long to beat, and I know they're not always right, but it had it a, at least as long as Okami. I know that. Also, I played a, I, I played a lot of, of Planescape Torment when I did try to finish it, and I feel like I only got like halfway. So. But yeah. Anyway, let me find. Nope, nope, nope. Let me find somebody for y'all to raid. I can go to sleep. Uh, let's see. Let's send you all. I'm thinking last boss is a lot. Go raid. Go raid actually money. She's playing uh, Rune Factory 4, and I know a bunch of y'all like that. Let's see what kind of progress she's made. Maybe you're just underestimating, underestimating, overestimating Okami. Maybe I, I don't know. I might be overestimating Planescape. So, but we'll see if one of those wins. We'll see. All right, gang. Thanks again for coming out. A pleasure to see you as always. If you're here for Legend of Mana, definitely come back on Monday. Uh, if you're a fan of me, you like hanging out with me, come back tomorrow. Play some NES games. It'll be great ish maybe we'll see anyway hopefully i'll see you tomorrow till then as always y'all take care bye everybody